Good morning, traders. This is a live trade recap. I took one trade this morning. I have everything on video. We're going to go over it right now. As always, I start with Weeble, open on the Markets tab, Top Gainers, Pre-Market, click on All. Then I organize the list by volume, and I'm only interested in the top three stocks. Right now, it's after 5 a.m., but when I was looking at this, ATHE was the number one stock. It had about 20,000 shares in the first one minute, so that was a good sign. And uh, it went on my watch list. So let's take a look at the video. Um, I accidentally did not hit record until after I was in the trade. So you can see right here it is 404 and I'm already in the trade. My signal to look for an entry was the fact that it was trading above the previous session's high and the previous day's high. Uh, and so the um, first one minute candle opened up over here and just sold off so this is strange for sure but I'm trying to take all the subjectivity out of my my trading and just trade purely objectively so this is point A this is point B and now I was waiting for C to finish and as soon as a one minute candle makes a new high that is the sign that point C has been established and there's a chance that this thing could now continue on higher so this is the candle that I entered on. The high of this candle is 152. So I was looking for 153 or better to get in. As soon as that hit 153, I uh, hit my hotkeys to get in and I got filled at 152 because this thing was bouncing around a little bit. So, and then my stop loss is the low of this candle, which is one, actually it's one cent below it. The low of this candle is 143. My stop loss is 142. So let's see what happened. So it looks like it's going to stop me out immediately, but it doesn't. Remember, it actually has to go below this line to stop me out. So that line's not quite at 143, but it should be. I move it later. And then, so my risk is 10 cents, so that means my profit target is 20 cents. So 172. And this thing opened at 174, so there is a decent chance of it getting back there but it doesn't look like it so far because I'm already in this thing about 10 minutes and it's just bouncing off the stop. It seemed like every time it hit my uh, stop loss level, that 143, remember my stop loss is actually 142, but every time it hit that 143, it just uh, bounced off. There were people coming in buying it. TIGR popped up in the top three, but its previous day's high was uh, 1978, so there's no way I was able to look for an entry there. This is fast forward. This was kind of a long, boring trade. UXIN also popped up in the top three, but it was too um, large a float size. But look what happened over here on ATHE. Volumes coming in, pushing the price up. So it looks like there may be a chance now that this trade works out. Although it's still well below my position, so I wasn't excited or anything. And then you can see it just it, that move completely failed and it comes right back down just chopping around there's not a lot of volume in it at this point but look at this so at one point i was just looking at the five minute chart 115,000 shares in the first five minutes of the pre-market so there was a lot of volume in this thing initially but um and there and actually there still kind of is if you see there for um a split second i passed over this candle which is from 435 to 440 and there's 11,000 shares so uh, it's not completely gone but I mean if, if it was making these dashed candles before I was in the trade I would have never taken it because that's a sign of low volume but at this point I'm already in the trade and my uh, rules and my plan say that I have to stay in it until either my stop loss gets hit or my profit target gets hit. No in between, no scaling out, no leaving early, none of that. All right, so here it is at 143. It has to hit 142 for me to get out. Let's keep an eye on this bubble. It should be pretty quick here.
there you go 142 and then you can see I triggered my hotkeys immediately no hesitation to uh, get out and take the loss better to do that than hold and hope so that was pretty lame sat there for 50 minutes on that trade but uh, I just and I also debated whether or not to make this video later when I can use my normal speaking voice but I figured um, this may be helpful to some traders who are iffy about taking trades or even looking for trades uh, later today because the market has been so weird this month so I wanted to get this out early so that you can see that um, April is is still April <laughs> and uh, the market is very weak and things are just uh, not working out so if uh, you want to sit out today be my guest if you don't if you want to trade make sure that you've got a plan going in and you know where your stop loss is going to be and if your stop loss gets hit just take it take the loss save your money for uh, when things get better so always honor your profit target always take your stop loss no matter what and in the long run you should be green take care